Are you kidding? I had full fucking health and plates and died in two uh, half of a second? What, what is wrong with this? Ah, yes, the calming effect of playing Warzone. Today we're going to break down why it is that I suck at this game. <laughs> what a fucking joke. You've got to be kidding me. This game fucking sucks. And a couple of things I'm hoping to see with the new Warzone that's attached to the brand new Modern Warfare coming out later in October. It just... Sometimes you want to, you know, change your life decisions. You've got to be kidding me! What in the fucking shit is that? Oh my god, this game is garbage. Let me just go ahead and start by saying that um, I'm not gonna just shit on this game uh, during this video. I thought that beginning was kind of funny because it's just the, it's the only game that I play. Um, I, I can't say consistently. It'd be, uh, it's the only game that I play that makes me legitimately angry sometimes. Um, and the only reason I can't say I play it consistently is because usually what happens is I'll reinstall the game, play it for a few weeks, and just be like, I'm never gonna play this ever again. Delete it, and then inevitably four or five months later, uh, you know, reinstall it and just repeat the cycle of madness again. But today is really more about, you know, this game is actually pretty damn good when it's at its best, but there's just some things that just, I don't understand what they were thinking when they put them in this game. Number one, is not going to be the most important thing in the world, but it's really, really annoying. And it's two different things that I think kind of go together, uh, presentation-wise. Audio effects that are have no that do not need to be in the game. We don't need all of that. Like Jesus Christ! I mean, like, what in the fuck is all that noise for? Da 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 da! Ding da! The second thing here is definitely going to be a bigger issue with p gameplay, potentially. Now, I, I'm sure a lot of people have already gotten used to it, but I think Warzone maybe has the most cluttered HUD I've ever seen in a game. There's so much stuff on the screen. It looks like one of my fucking teammates because all this fucking garbage on the screen. God, fix the fucking HUD in this game, man. Somebody do something about it. Then there are moments like these that, uh, you know, are kind of hilarious and make you want to keep going back for more. Right. Inevitably, though, something like this ends up happening that makes you question everything because you know how many cheaters there are in this game. You know how prevalent it is um, because it's cross-play. Um, whether you're on a console or you're on a PC, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you could run into these kind of players. And I don't know for sure that that's what this is, but I'm going to show you this. And I think even if it's not cheating, it's almost worse because it means there's something terribly wrong uh, with a very core function of the game. So here there's a couple things. One of them is that, okay, I've got full armor, I've got full health. This guy's using a rare, looted, I assume, Cooper Carbine. And he manages to get off about 30 rounds in two seconds. You may notice there's two points where the ammo count drops by six bullets on two different occasions. One set from 57 to 51 and another time from 43 to 36. Now, is he using some sort of a, you know, fast shoot mechanic that I don't know about? I guess that's definitely possible, but I'm not like completely unaware of how this game works or what it's in it. And I, so I don't think that's what's going on here. And that just makes it even more frustrating because I don't know what happened. And that happens so often in this game where you get killed and you have no idea why, because everything else seemed to be going the right way for you. Or even if it was like that, where it was a bit of a surprise, um, you thought, well, shit, I can turn around and get the hell out of here. And you just don't have any time to, and you're not sure what happened. And given the fact that this game tries to give you so much information all the time, that is essentially unnecessary. The HUD being as ridiculously cluttered as it is, the amount of 
unnecessary audio cues that they're giving you all the time when you open up chests or when you run anywhere, basically, or run over an item. It's a little bit frustrating is all. And I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. I'll probably reinstall the game in four months and play it for a month and then do the same thing over again and keep repeating the process. And I guess I do find it kind of funny that I'm a bit of a, a fan of my own my own pain, I guess, here. But I am interested to see what they do with Modern Warfare 2 coming out here in just a few weeks, a handful of weeks. October 23rd is the official release date. A new Warzone map will be coming out uh, with it as well. Everything is going to be changed. Um, I just hope to God that they... I know I'm not the only person who thinks the amount of sound effects and the way the HUD is just positioned as completely ridiculous let alone some of the gameplay issues like i just showed you but i do hope they fix it because like i said at this the core of this game and when it works really well it's a lot of fun it can be and it's great to play with the team um but we'll have to see what happens listen guys thank you for stopping by the channel i hope you enjoyed the video if you did and only if you did give it a like maybe subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification so you know when i got more content coming out hope you guys have a great week and i'll see you later